Yo, quick video. This is what you can do with an old dartboard. This is a new dartboard. I had an old dartboard, and what I did with it was I turned it into this. Now, if you want to find out how to do this, watch the video. I'll show you exactly how to do this. Okay, so the first task of this little challenge thing, this little arts and crafts little thing, was to make the board completely white. So I got some spray paint and I started spraying the board white. It took about seven or eight coats. It soaks in really, really well, which is obviously not what you want. But the whole idea was to get the board white first. So once I got the board white, I had my reference picture on my phone. This is obviously my new logo. And I got some masking tape out and I started planning out my uh, my picture. So the first thing to do was to cover up all the spaces that wouldn't be black because the first color I was going to do was going to be black. So if any any parts of the board weren't going to be going to be black, I just covered them in in masking tape. So you don't have to be majorly precise here, I've got pieces of tape that are overlapping each other. I can cut these out at a later time. So at this point, I took my little pen knife, cut out all the shapes and stuff that I wanted to make it nice and precise to make it look exactly like my logo, and then obviously cut out all of the extra bits that didn't need to be there. After this, it was time just to make sure that everything looked good, cover up any spaces and make sure that there was no paint could have got through. Next thing was to color the pieces in black. I did about three coats of black. And then after that, it was time to peel off the, uh, the masking tape and see the picture underneath. So at the moment, it was obviously just black and white. I've still got red to do in my logo. So that is gonna be coming next. So at this point, the next thing to do was to mask off all of the pieces of my board that I didn't want red. So it was basically a lot of the board I didn't, didn't want red. So there's loads of masking tape involved in this one. And it was just a case of planning it out, working it out and covering it as precise as possible because obviously the better it looks, the better your, the better your paint's gonna look as well. So at this point, it, was, it wasn't too difficult. It was just a case of covering a lot, which took a little bit of time. Again, I use my knife just to clear up some edges. And then it's on to the red paint. So the next time I put the red paint on, and this was about three coats as well. Fortunately, it was a really warm day today, so a lot of the paint dried very, very quickly. And now it's time to peel it all off again, and then we'll see the, uh, the finished result of what this all looks like and how it looks finished. And there we have it, that is what the board looks like. So let's see what it looks like on the wall. Also, I sprayed the number ring black as well because it was now on a white background. Um, so obviously the colors flipped over. So I just got the number ring sprayed up black and we put it on and you'll see what it looks like in just a moment.
And the next thing to do was to put it up nicely in a decent place where my stream can see it. So it's always always going to be in the background of my stream from now on. So if you watch my stream, you can uh, you can see it in the background. So I got the the board mount nice and put into the wall, and then it was a case of putting the board onto it, having a look, make sure it looked alright, and make sure it looked good on the camera. And that was basically it. Anyway guys, pretty simple video. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like on it, subscribe if you're brand new. And uh, yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.